happy dedication is where parents are dedicating themselves to train their children in the admonition and nurture of the Lord, and recognizing that our babies, our children, really belong to God. It is a stewardship that we have until the day that we release them uh, that, uh, that we are going to train them up in the way that they should go. And so we have four wonderful families today, uh, and uh, I just asked them to stand in alphabetical order because we, you know, I had no other way to uh, think about how we would order them. But um, I'm going to uh, uh, give the microphone over to Johnny, and he's going to introduce his family and how uh, their family has been a blessing. Uh, good morning. My name is Johnny. Uh, this is my wife, Naomi. Uh, my oldest daughter, uh, Isabel, down there, and Leah, who I'm carrying here. And um, uh, children are definitely a blessing. Uh, I think one of the things that, uh, I, well, even as Pastor Steve shared today already, uh, you know, most kids like to copy uh, what they see, and Leah is no exception. Um, one of the things that she does uh, that I, that I uh, really enjoy is uh, when I, a lot of times when I pick her up, I pat her on the back, uh, just because, just to comfort her or whatever. And uh, she's kind of picked up on that. So a lot of times she'll, when I pick her up, she'll kind of uh, hold me tight and start patting me on the back. And uh, <laughs> so I, I definitely appreciate that. Uh, so, but yeah, just the, I, I heard a speaker once say that uh, he encouraged uh, men to get married early and, and have kids early. And I didn't understand that, uh, nor do I necessarily fully agree. But uh, he was just saying uh, that, Men learn responsibility earlier, I think, and uh, and ever since having kids, uh, I see I do definitely see that the weight of um, them seeing your every action and and copying it, you know, every little action is uh, is very noticeable. So. Well, we're very excited for Johnny and Naomi and baby Leah and big sister Isabel. And, uh, and we're so delighted uh, that God has blessed them. Leah, her name means bringer of good news. And, uh, and Romans 10, 15 says, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Let's say a prayer for Leah. Our precious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Leah. We love how her name means bringer of good news. And Father, we know that as her mommy and daddy love you and love the good news and love to share the good news, Father, that Leah and her big sister Isabel will also be wonderful sharers of the good news of God. We know that this means it becomes real for them very soon in her life. And Father, as she understands that Jesus died for her sin and was buried and resurrected, rose again three days later so that she can know that she has eternal life forever with you. Father, we pray that she will love to share that good news. Thank you for Leah and for her family and her big sister showing her the way to go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Um, my name is Kevin, and this is my wife, Joey, our eldest daughter, Kelly, in the middle is Katie, and we are dedicating Kenzie today, who just turned one a couple of days ago. Um, so she's just, uh, she's been a joy to have. She's uh, changed the dynamic of our family, um, just having uh, three girls um, running around. But she, she loves uh, her older sisters. Um, it's fun to see every time I pick uh, the other two up from school and she just lights up and, and gets excited seeing her sisters. And as well as her older sisters. Her older sisters uh, have really shown um, just uh, uh, how much they love uh, their baby sister. I know Kelly before was kind of hesitant of having an a older sister, but, or a younger sister, I mean, but, but she's really enjoyed the time uh, with, with Kenzie. And then um, just some characteristics that, that uh, Joey and I have been learning this, this one year, just seeing how God has created her uniquely. Uh, she's, she's very observant. She loves to look at things. Um, she loves to be outside when we go for walks. She likes to look at things. Um, and she is a very strong, uh, strong-willed baby. She, she, 
knows what she wants, and she will go to great lengths to try to get it. So uh, that's her. And um, just uh, trying to think of a verse um, for this um, occasion. A verse came up. It's in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 5 through 7. It says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Verse 7, impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up. And reading this verse, um, a word came to me, me, and the word was influencer. And I didn't know what that word meant until about a month ago. Um, it, it's a, a social media word. Um, and so people were using it, and I'm like, well, what do they mean, influencers? I had to go look it up. And for those of you who don't know what it means, um, it, it's a person on social media, and I think it's generally Instagram, but it's a person who, um, who will uh, um, talk about a product or a service and get people to, to like it or to follow it and to use it. And long before social media, God had called parents to be influencers on their kids. And... Um, that is my prayer, or Joey and, and my prayer for, for not only our two daughter or our our three daughter or not 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 I'm sorry not only for Kenzie but all of our three daughters is that we could be uh, influencers on them. That's beautiful. Kenzie, her name means good looking, fair one. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> but. We don't want just the physical beauty to be uh, what stands out in the life of Kenzie. We, we want the beauty of her heart to be manifest. First Peter 3, verse 4 says, But let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. Let's pray for the Dong family. Our precious Heavenly Father, we rejoice with Kevin and Joey and Kelly and Katie and their really beautiful sister, uh, Kenzie. And Father, we know that beauty can be something we look at outwardly, but it also describes our heart, and that's the beauty that is more important to you than who we are on the outside. And Father, I pray that you will help Kevin and Joey be influencers to Kenzie, and that you will give Kelly and Katie opportunities as big sisters to also be a great influence on Kenzie to show the inner beauty of a heart that looks like Jesus Christ. And so, Father, thank you for giving them a beautiful family, a family that reflects the beauty of the heart of our Lord Jesus. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. All right. Next, we're going to introduce to you Mia. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is David. This is my wife, Maria, and this is our seven years old um, Jasmine and two and a half year old Mia. I think with uh, her age, she's probably the oldest baby on the stage. <laughs> uh, we often say she has the, the, the face of the angel and temper of something else. <laughs> uh, she, <laughs> she, she's a. Uh, She's also very, uh, uh, very determined, uh, a very go-getter. Go so I'll be curious if we have her and Kenzie in the same room and we throw something that both of them want and what happens. <laughs> so, um, but you know, having, but uh, in all seriousness, like having her is uh, a, a huge answer to prayer because when we had uh, Jasmine seven years ago, it came very naturally. So I would say both of us kind of underestimate um, the, the miracle to have a, a, a child, right? And then it, it took us a couple of years you know, before we had Mia. So both of us were really grateful. Um, seeing Jasmine and Nia interact was one of the most beautiful things that like, could ever happen to my life. So both of our prayer is to have Mia really walk in the Lord and be, you know, no matter what she do in the future, Jesus will always be the most important thing in her life. So thank you. Congratulations, David and Maria, Jasmine as well. We, um, when, when I looked up the meaning for Mia, there was a couple of definitions. In Italian, Mia is mine. Uh, and in the German and Scandinavian, it's 
it's a shorter version of Maria, which kind of makes sense, right? A little mini me or mini Maria. Um, so, so, so that that would work. Uh, but what what really impressed my heart was uh, the uh, the word mine, and thinking of of our dedication. Every baby belongs to Christ, and Mia belongs to God. And he would say that she is mine. And Jesus, in his great prayer to the Heavenly Father, says, All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Let's, let's pray for Mia. Our precious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for Mia. She's not a baby anymore, but Father, as she continues to grow. Father, I pray that she will very soon realize that she belongs to you and that Jesus died for her and, uh, and she will trust Christ and become your child. And so, Father, as we bask in the thought of what it means to be yours, that you would say that, we, that, uh, that all of us belongs to you, you would say they are mine Father, thank you for loving us and possessing us lovingly, tightly, securely. And Father, I pray that uh, David and Maria and, uh, and Mia's big sister Jasmine will continue to show uh, Mia what it means to belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we lift up uh, the Lou family to you that they will raise uh, Mia up in the Lord Jesus Christ, and it's in his name we pray. Amen. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jeff. This is my wife, Jen. This is our eight-and-a-half-month-old daughter, Chloe. And Chloe comes from the Greek. It means green and growing. And it was very fitting that she was born on the first day of spring. And so... As she continues to grow, uh, we're really grateful that she is such a good eater, for one. It seems like you could just keep spoon-feeding her nonstop, and she'll never get full. It's an endless stomach and endless capacity to eat. <clears throat> and she's really been a blessing to us, even uh, from birth. And it was really fitting that uh, she was born in spring on the first day because uh, we had been waiting so long. Um, Jen and I have been married for nine years, and every time someone asked us, when are you going to have kids, it kind of struck us to the heart because um, we were trying, and uh, it just wasn't the Lord's timing. And so we'd continue to pray that God would bless us with a child, and uh, one of the characters in the Bible that really stuck out to us was the character of Hannah, who similarly had prayed to the Lord for a, a child, and for years and years, um, for some reason, she just was unable to have a, a, a child of her own. And so we, yeah, had that sim similar path and struggle, and we wondered if we would ever be blessed with a child of our own. <clears throat> uh, along the way, we had a, a few bumps in the road, and we lost a few babies as well. Um, and so uh, it really seemed like a long winter, which is why when Chloe came, it was something that thawed our hearts, that warmed us, it was an expression of great joy, <laughs> answered prayer, and, and we don't take her for granted at all. And so we recognize that she's a gift from God. She's uh, our beautiful baby girl. <laughs> she's probably going to be a fashionista when she grows up. <clears throat> but really a, a picture of, of uh, God's beautiful love to us, and so we cherish her. Uh, for all of her personalities and all of her characteristics, and we pray for her too, that just like her name, that she would grow up in, uh, in a godly way and that you would all would help us to, to raise her as well. Thank you. Well, Chloe, it's, Chloe's name means blooming, full of life, as Jeff mentioned. And, uh, and full of life drew me to the passages on the abundance of life we have in Christ. 
Romans 5.17 says, For if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, that's Adam, and, and death came because of him, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ, the ultimate Adam, who accomplished what Adam could not. Uh, and through the Lord Jesus Christ, life is not dull, not, life is not minimal, it is abundant. And we pray for Chloe to have that full abundance experience uh, by uh, having Christ as her Savior and Lord. So let's go ahead and let's pray for Chloe at this time. Our precious Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for Jeff and Jen. Father, we know that all of the children belong to you. And Father, as they are now dedicating today, Chloe, we rejoice that she belongs to you. You have a great purpose for her to live for you, to become a Christian by trusting Christ as her Savior, by realizing that Jesus Christ is the giver of abundant life. It will not be the money she makes, the house she lives in, or the car she drives that will indicate her abundance. It will be her joy, her love, and her passion for you. So give Jeff and Jen the wisdom to raise her and pointing her in the direction of the abundant life in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Nobody jumped off the stage. But we do need some boys. So let's get going here. <laughs> let's all stand. Let's close in a word of prayer. And then, uh, and then after I pray, I'll come down. Family, stay up here. And then, uh, then the families can take some pictures of you guys. Uh, but let's, let's go ahead and close in prayer. Our precious Heavenly Father, we rejoice in the wonderful goodness of life. Thank you for the life that we can have through birth and celebrating children. But Father, we also want to thank you for the eternal life uh, that we can have, the life abundant. And Father, we pray that this will uh, soon be the experience of all four or all the children that are here, uh, and, uh, and we want to commit them to you. Father, thank you for rejoicing in life today, and it's all because of the Lord Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You're dismissed, and come on up and enjoy the